I really thought she forgot about Fear Factor. I really did. <laughs> Sorry, Charlie. What? We're doing it. This is what happens when you get a rainy day in the <laughs> Keys. And, and look, as expected, the mower guy went across the way. Now we're ready to sit down and film. And here he comes again. <laughs> we just, we attract noise. We, we obviously do. I'm having a Key Lime LaCroix because we're in Key West. <laughs> well, let's get over this. I, I got to get past this. Yeah. Because I want to go to Bass Pro Shop because I want to get some more of these Life is Good shirts. And I'm hoping they have them. We're in love with them. Have you guys seen these Life is Good shirts? First of all, the story behind them is really cool. Like, I anybody who, like, starts from nothing and, like, literally, like, $80 to their name and, like... Living putting, in their car. Living in the car. And then the fact that they're donating, like, 10% of all of the money to, like, children in need. I love it. And I love the message and it goes right along with everything that we stand for in the keto lifestyle. Yeah, because life is good right now. It's not like when you get to a certain level or you achieve a certain goal, then that's when life is good. Life is precious right now. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews and we talk about various keto topics. And every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Pause. We're on the wrong side because I have that microphone directed that way to out like pick me up and this one's directed this way so you need to scoot all right scoot 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 there we go well, you know we would not have been able to do that three years ago no we would not fit in the little crevice like in the picnic then crunch. again three years ago i think my stomach was hitting the picnic table yes i know so. mine was i know it was so keto camping fear factor i don't remember what episode is this is this 11 or is this 12. i don't even remember but it is okay because even if we have to push pause on our keto camping fear factors this food that you guys have sent us will wait it'll Ugh. it'll hold it's shelf stable Ugh. for that reason I, i'm actually this one i don't remember who sent us this this is what's making you remember to do keto camping fear factor mustard eggs this the other stuff was in the back of the thing and like i forgot about it and i was hoping you did too no <laughs> this one here might be okay the rest of this stuff like mackerel fillets like that's bait well, this is bait we're in the perfect place to try this because yeah we can actually if it's not good we can use the rest of it to try to what catch does a mackerel fish? have to do with pineapple and tomatoes they're just and making it hairs. pretty and then this, this just looked wrong. Pickled, Pickled pork, pork skins. skins. So if you're new to our channel, it's been a while since we've done one of these. Uh, we actually have an entire playlist of them. I'll leave a link for that playlist up here. And basically what it is, is when we started camping, we started looking for what are some things that you could eat in the middle of a zombie apocalypse, right? <laughs> like shelf stable, keto friendly foods and we have expanded this to non shelf stable foods like liver you know like gross things that you would eat if you absolutely had to but please don't mail us that stuff yeah <laughs> so but we've had a lot of like good fun doing it yeah and also there's been an opportunity for us to find some stuff that we actually really like yeah so if you like us doing this make sure you hit the like button down below and we will continue it and what we do is if you find it we'll eat it yep and so every time we go camping we pull out three things that you guys have sent us and we're like hey let's go ahead and try this the problem is is we've run out of ideas like i would love to find like rocky mountain oysters in a can ew yes no. yeah why not That's so, so gross. you know i don't know canned beef liver you know <laughs> You know, there's something out there we haven't tried yet. I'm sure there is. Keto is so not So here's what we're gonna do. We've got three things and a drink. I have pineapple zip fizz, or is the pina colada zip fizz. 
You're drinking a key lime. LaCroix. And then after this, we're going to go to Bass Pro Shops because it's kind of really windy and choppy on the he water. He has to keep reminding himself that so he can like build up the courage to eat well, this. Well, because after this, we're also going to make our keto pancakes. And we're going to, I think I'm going to use a savory flavor and we're going to make hamburgers. Nice. And use the pancakes as a bun. I love it. Are you ready? No, but so let's do it anyway. Here's what we got. We got polar mackerel fillets. We've got El Galito pickled pork skins. That just looks disgusting. And we have some Walnut Creek mustard eggs. We're finishing with that. I'm most excited about this. I'm least excited about this. And I'm confused by this. <laughs> okay. For the record, Joe hates fish. Yes, he does. But we are in the Keys. Although last Oof, night, Don't oh, get on you man. because it's gonna stink. Although last night, we found this really cool restaurant. The Meat Eatery. The Meat Eatery. It was actually uh, featured on Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives. Ooh, that smells like. And they had the most delicious Tunafish. fresh pork rinds, like fresh made pork rinds. And their seafood, it was like a, a fish. A fish dip. Yeah. And I liked it. Like we ate the entire thing. I kind of, when we're going to Bass Pro Shops, want to stop and get some more of that. I feel like the really good fish dip is kind of like vodka. You're not supposed to taste some like really strong flavor yeah if it's the good stuff yes Ugh. do you think this is the good stuff no it smells like cat food I can it, smell yeah. it from over there it, this this, this seriously, seriously smells. smells like cat food and I'm wearing a brand new shirt well don't drop it on yourself ooh do we have another fork oh. I thought I brought out two forks you have oh, one what? right there next to you oh I don't have a fork no it's right there I don't want I'm gonna contaminate a metal fork you should never put fish stuff on a metal fork Really? Yeah. Why? I don't know. I just heard that. Don't you not eat caviar with metal? Like you're Well, do you to... want this plastic one and I'll risk myself for you? No. It is our anniversary trip. Oh, I will lay down my fork for you, babe. Ew. Ew. Be careful because it just is a gust of wind and I'm so afraid it's going to blow it on us. Here we go. Merry Christmas. Dink. 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 It's tuna fish. Wow. Okay. It's, it just tastes it's like not tuna, tuna fish. fish. I know it's mackerel, but it tastes like tuna fish. No, but, okay, wait, no, there, there it is. There it is. Yeah, it's not bad. There it is. Okay, so it isn't actually bad. Like I could actually eat this in a zombie apocalypse. Let's go over the nutrition facts. Because the Well, let me finish this... my statement here oh, first. Sorry. Because I don't like tuna fish at all. I don't like the smell of tuna fish. I don't like the taste. The only way I'm eating tuna fish is in our tuna croquettes recipe. Mm. Link right up here. That stuff's good. That is really good. And that's because that was like an homage to my dad. Because when I was a kid, I hated tuna fish. And he used to make us tuna patties. And it was because it was Help the only way out. I would eat it. But it was loaded with breadcrumbs, right? Yeah. And that was the only way I would eat it. So obviously we can't eat breadcrumbs. So I made the tuna croquettes. And I actually like those. This is a cross, this taste is a cross between tuna fish and canned chicken. Yeah, you're right. Right? It's, it's milder mild. than tuna, but like not as delicious as canned chicken. So, it's in between. So these are wild caught mackerel fillets, but I'll tell you, I was expecting to see a long fish yeah. in them, but it's cut up like a tuna fish. And a serving So much for using it as bait. Right. A serving size is one pouch. Well, I'm going to finish this probably for lunch. One pouch is 260 calories, 20 grams of fat, and 12 grams of protein. Two total carbs. And the ingredients are in these are skinless, boneless mackerel fillets. There's soybean oil, which isn't great, Man. but there's water and salt. So it's not like a ton of wonky ingredients. In a zombie apocalypse, the last thing I'm worried about is soybean oil. Exactly. <laughs> I so, mean, I don't want it, but. So I would totally get these. And I think you actually might enjoy this more than tuna fish. If you have to have tuna fish or this, this is more I, mild. Here's the beauty. I don't have to have either of them. You can do like chicken yes. instead. But this was good. Thank you, guys. Moving on. This one I'm a little concerned of. It's got to be better than that. I don't know. That one was pretty good. Ew. Ew. Oh, my gosh. So this Ew. is a pickled... What is it again? Oh. A pickled... Pork skin. Oh. Now, I love my pork skins, oh. but I don't know if I want to eat them like this. Oh. oh. Ew. Oh, it's like gelatinous. Oh, I smell that vinegar smell. Oh, wow. this is just wrong. We've got to dink this one. Wait a minute. 
Oh, it's slimy. It's very slimy. <sighs> want to dink it? No, I don't want to dink this. Dink. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Well, I'm not eating this now. You're not even. <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry. Ew. 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 Oh. That is awful. That is really, truly terrible. I don't know what's worse is the taste or the texture. The texture is so off -putting. Oh, can we use this as bait? I mean, uh, yeah, you probably could if it was I don't think the, the fish line. are gonna eat this. Oh, it's it like is getting windy out. Super, super slimy. Oh, and that it's got that <coughs> really bad vinegar, but then Ew, it fills up your whole mouth with okay. like... moving on. It's like a bologna. Wait, let's t talk about what's in it. I don't care what's in that. The ingredients are fully cooked pork skin and a brine of water, acetic acid, and salt. There's carrots, jalapeno peppers. I didn't get any of that. Oregano and pepper flakes. I did not I did not taste all that. So a serving size is two ounces. Ooh. About one skin, but... Like, I don't think that we just had two ounces of it. Oh, gosh, no. So there's 30 total grams of fat, five grams of protein, no carbs. It is perfectly keto. It's, oh. I'm telling you now, in a zombie apocalypse, that or you, uh, yeah, I you're love you, eat me. I'm eating you. I would totally I'm eating eat. all of you. I would eat you too. That sounds wrong. That is awful. But here's the funny thing is that this is an entire company that's probably doing really well because people love this. So somebody out there really likes this. Uh, it's disgusting. Just not us. Here we go. All right. I don't know who sent this, but thank you for redeeming our day. I feel like Walnut Creek me, mustard eggs. Good. It smells good. Okay. It smells like the correct amount of, of vinegar. You know what I like about pickled eggs? I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna say I want a whole one. Well. And just be super ballsy about it. Oop, I can't. Okay, wait a second. Don't don't do anything. I yet. won't do anything. Here's what I love about pickled eggs. It's so weird to me. Ready? Yeah. Boing. Yeah. Boing. They're very bouncy. Boing. Before I mean, they're we, hard as a rock. Before we eat it, let's say what's in it. There's eggs, obviously. Pickling liquid, which is vinegar, sugar, water, natural flavor, turmeric extract. That's what's making it so yellow. Um, there's mustard seed, and that's it. Um, there are 11 servings in a jar. Um, one egg is a serving, 60 calories, 4.5 grams of fat, it's an egg. 5, five grams, grams of protein, protein, and let's see if they're saying for no They're carbs. saying zero carbs, but there's Residual. a carb in every egg. But then again, the pickling thing may eat up some of the sugar. Okay, here we go. It's yellow all the way through. There we go. I don't know if it's focused because it's so sunny out I can't see the camera. I'm going to dink it? No. You have to dink it. <laughs> I'm like, I was like, really? Oh, it's sweet. Mmm. Yep. This redeemed it. Wow. That's like an egg salad. That is delicious. All in one. It's just a weird texture. It's hard. It's like the egg salad is totally made in there because when you make egg salad, I mean, it tastes creamy like there's mayonnaise in it, even though there's not mayonnaise in it, but you taste that like a little bit of sweetness and the mustard. That is awesome. That is really good. This is a fine. That was really good. Mm. I bought those jalapeno eggs when we went up to Ocala. I doubt And you those. ate them all, and I never got one. And I like jalapeno. They're really good, but I honestly I think... I think it was the same company, wasn't it? I honestly think this is better. We have yet to go to Sarasota, where they have an Amish community or Mennonite community there mm -hmm. that really have a lot more, you know, pickled options like this. We got to make that part of our trip. What is that? They are good. Wow. That was redeeming. I want all of these in a zombie apocalypse. So you're going to eat all those and me? Yeah. Or you're going to eat those and then I get to eat you because you're not going to share them with me. Buy a bunch of jars of this because if we get to this, you're dead meat. That is going to be today's Keto Camping Fear Factor. I want to say this is episode 12 because episode 10 was the family edition with the boys. I love it. I don't know. We got to get the them The correct out. one will be down on the bottom. More. So I guess we're bringing this series back. Maybe not. Let back, us know baby. down in the comment section, should we bring this series back? But you also have to use the address down below to send us some stuff. To eat. So we can eat it. Like, because I don't really want to eat her. So. Hmm. 
<laughs> Thanks, honey. <laughs> That's gonna be this episode. Now, if you like seeing this videos like this, there is an entire playlist of keto camping fear factors, which I'm gonna link right down here. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm gonna put right over there. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon and that way every single time we taste something new, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time, bye. bye.